We've been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty. What in the world? Robocalls. Let's talk about it. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Jared T Productions. My name is Jose and thank you guys for joining me here today. Now I know many of you guys have received these random calls where it's a random phone number, but then you pick it up by accident because it seems like it's in your area code, but then it just turns out to be one of those other extended warranty calls, am I right? It's not just you or me that get these phone calls all the time. Everyone worldwide gets them. From January to October of 2020, there were over 31.1 billion spam calls made, compared to 19 where there's only 26 billion. But let's talk a little bit about how robocalls are made. So you might think that some of these robocalls are actually made by humans calling, say, another human. But that's actually incorrect. Most of the time, it's actually a computer calling you. And how does the computer do that, you may ask? Well, it uses voice over internet protocol, VoIP. Systems like FaceTime and Skype use the same technology that robocalls actually use. VoIP doesn't use international phone calls. So in fact, it's actually cheap and easy to make. That's why there are so many being made constantly. So while a computer uses random numbers, it also comes up with random numbers on its end. So when it calls you, your caller ID is pretty much always a different number, but it's still that same computer. So that technique is called spoofing. Now recently it's been using neighboring spoofing, which is this new technique that it uses your area code instead of just a random generated code. So you're more likely to answer the phone call. Sometimes you might accidentally try and call back thinking that it's someone important, but in fact, you just end up calling a restaurant. That's because the computer sometimes uses actual phone numbers in the spoofing process. According to the FCC, they recommend obviously you do not answer these phone calls. If you do answer these phone calls, more than likely the computer is going to recognize that and send way more phone calls to your phone specifically. And sometimes you might accidentally reach a human that will be trying to sell you more than likely the extended warranty system. So you may be asking yourself, why hasn't the government done anything to prevent these form of calls? Well, in fact, there is a Telephone Consumer Protection Act that is currently in play and has been for a while that does prevent these calls from happening, but they can't stop them all since they do come from international locations. So it's very hard to pinpoint that exact location where the phone call came from. But for those companies that do get caught, there is a hefty fine that comes with that. In the meantime, phone companies are trying to do their best to prevent these calls and from permitting them to go through their systems. But of course, there's so many coming in that they can only do so much. Now, there are also apps out there that you can download that can sometimes prevent these from happening or sometimes let you know specifically if it's a spam call or if it's someone that you know. So there are solutions out there, but in the meantime, we have to be patient and block as many phone calls as possible if they do look suspicious. Luckily, the COVID-19 pandemic did lower some of these spam calls from happening. But of course, now that we are starting to open and get back into normal, they're going into full production quick. Fun fact, did you know that Americans receive over 28 spam calls per month compared to a year ago, which was only 18 per month? Anyways, in the meantime, try and prevent those just by checking your caller ID. If it is a number you don't recognize, probably shouldn't be answering it. And if it is, definitely keep your eye on the caller ID just in case it is a spam call or someone that you may know. Um, but other than that, you guys have a great day and or a great week. Um, stay safe and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.